All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to do the composition, uh, not the composition, but uh, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing uh, when we have two functions. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna look at f plus g of x. And if I'm given the function f of x equals one over x and g of x equals one over x squared. So really all I'm gonna do is what they're saying is just add your function of f of x and add your function g of x and see what happens. So f of x is equal to one over x and I think grab my phone, so I'm just right. So f plus g of x is going to look like 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. Now, just like any other fractions, you can't add fractions unless they have the common denominators. So to get these to be common denominator, I'm going to have to multiply by x over x. Therefore, I'll obtain x over x squared plus 1 over x squared. Now, I can combine my fractions with the same denominator, and I'll be left with x plus 1 over x squared. Um, if I was going to do f minus g of x, I would have the exact same thing. It would be 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. Let's have a seat real quick. Yeah. Huh? Yes? Okay. Oh. You can just sit down and be finished in just a second. Okay. So we have 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. To get them to be the same denominator, I have to multiply by x over x. Therefore, I'll obtain x over x squared minus 1 over x squared. Therefore, my answer equals x minus 1 over x squared. To do f times g of x, you're going to just multiply your two fractions. So it would be 1 over x times 1 over x squared. Well, 1 times 1 gives me 1. x times x cubed, x squared gives me x cubed. And finally, our last one is f over g of x equals f of x, which is 1 over x, times g of x, which is 1 over x squared. To get our fraction off the bottom, I have to multiply by my reciprocal. Now, that cancels to 1, so I'm left with 1 over x multiplied by x squared over 1. 1 times x squared is x squared, x times 1 is x. This cancels out to give me x, and we also know that since our original division, x cannot equal 0. And that is how you use your operations with two functions.